Hi friends, today we are going to see how to cut Sami Patiala Salwar. We will see the measurement first. Length of Sami Patiala is 41, bottom is 18 inch and hip is 44. This measurement we are going to follow for cutting. First we are going to take this measurement for bottom. Now we are taking the length of the salwar. For that we have to minus 7 inch for yoke and we will take out the length of salwar. Length of salwar is 41. And we are taking 1 inch extra for margin. Mark it here. Now here we are marking fork area for that you have to minus it 7 inch of yoke and then mark here fork area for that you have to drop down the line. Now mark this cross line from bottom to fork area for salwar. Now your measurement is done, start cutting. You have to take here half inch margin for stitching. Now you have to cut the yoke we have to take the yoke area of salwar for that we have to mark this 9 inch width 7 we have already minus it from bottom area and 2 inch extra to insert the string for tie up And width of the yoke is we will take as per the hip hip is 44 and we have added 6 inch extra in that so we will take this yoke of 50 inch now we have to add the yoke with the bottom part this way we'll fold the upper area and we'll attach it to the lower part of the salwar now we'll start stitching process first we'll start with yoke Join the two parts. Here you have to give the gap to take out a string for tie up. This way you have to fold it and stitch it. Both the side you have to do like this only. You can see this hole from which you have to insert the string.
now you have to fold it all around and stitch it all over now we are folding this 2 inch for string and remaining 7 inch will be the yoke You can see this your yoke is ready here you will going to insert the string for tie up now you have to attach your bottom part to this yoke now we'll ready this bottom area now you have to attach this fork area same way you have to attach back side fork area also now you have to take out the center of this fabric and you have to take the pleats now we are taking here pleat with the same distance and same fabric in each pleat you have to take same measurement you can also take the gathers instead of pleats as per the client requirement you can do this Now from this side you have to turn it pleats in opposite direction with the same distance You can see both the side pleats are facing each other. This is the front area of your salwar. Now we are marking here center in yoke also. And we are going to attach this pleated area to the yoke front. You can see this front area we will attach here in center. This area we are going to attach it here in center. We will start stitching from center only. This is your back center. You have to attach it here. If suppose your uh, salwar bottom fabric will be extra, then you can give the pleat in back side also. You have to stitch all around 
your yoke part is fully attached with the pleated area of the salwar now you have to take one more stitch line over it so that it will be more comfortable while using now you can see this your pleating it attach with the yoke this is back part and this is front now we'll make the bottom of your salwar for this you have to cut 2 inch long stripe and we'll see the process of it this is bottom canvas you have to stitch it over the stripe fold your stripe with the bottom canvas your bottom canvas is ready with the fabric now you have to attach it to the salwar bottom place it over it same way you have to do on next leg also on right side of the fabric you have to place this stripe so that we can turn this inside now you have to turn it inside and stitch it again at the edge of the canvas now from back side you have to fix it on the fabric you can see how nicely it is done you can add two three stripe between your canvas stripe we are adding here two three more sirai on this canvas stripe you can also do that same way or you can make the diamond design a round design as uh, it's up to you what design you want to give at bottom
now you can see this bottom is ready now we are going to stitch the side seam of the salwar as per the margin kept in cutting you do the stitching here you have to stitch in round shape at the fork area give the curve slowly and turn it Now give one more stitch over it so that your stitch line will be more stronger while using it and you can feel more comfortable also. Now you have to make the stripe while joining. Now you have to make the stripe of one inch to insert it in the salwar for tie. -up. This way you can make the stripe. The yoke is 15 so you have to take the stripe of 16 inch so that it will be comfortable for tire. Your stripe is ready. Now we will see how to insert it in the salwar. This is the easiest method. this way you have to insert it from one side push the extra fabric back side so that your string will come forward Now you can see string is coming out from another hole of your silver. Now adjust your fabric. This way. This is your tie up ready with the silver. Now you can see this silver with pleats. How beautiful it looks. In short time, easiest way to making this salwar, you can also do it at home. This is your center crease line of your salwar. If you like this salwar, like us, share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe us for new easiest way techniques of stitching you can learn on our channel and thank you once again.